Hello, this is second video. I'm going to continue uh, irrigation models. So first video, I created artificial neural network using default uh, configuration. So I'm going to change. I'm going to add more hidden layers to check what is the performance. And now we are going to check that using what means called error. So let's create another model. I'm going to set C for random, two, three, four, five. Okay, create a model underscore n n three. I'm calling that to be different. Okay, I'm going to use the same neural net. Match one force as independent variables and all others are independent. And, and data will be project. Data train. I'm going to add hidden to be for exceptions for hidden layers, and I'm going to change the activation function, active function to be logistics. Logistics. Okay. We can now plot the model. And three, yeah, it's more complicated. Let's see what is the impact of this uh, new model on the root mean square zero. Okay, so I'm going to model, sorry, model underscore and then the three underscore three in root mean square zero. I'm going to and it's called function uh, project data project data train these are the actual variables and again it's a very detailed value let's unlist so let's use the same error again and model in n3 net dot result okay model and then Turn it with non square here. Okay, it's getting improved. And I calculate, I done it here. I'm sorry. It's uh, to, in order to compare the different models. Okay, so now I'm going to move to another regression model. It's a both vector machine. So I'm going to call it a model support vector machine one. You can set the set put seat one two three four five again model and support support vector machine one. I'm going to use support vector machine. It's similar to N N actual costs. As textual cost as intended, and all others are dependent, and data equal sorry project train. Yeah, I see it here. I didn't call the library, it's called E1, if I'm not mistaken. E1. Zero seven, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I believe now it will work well. Yes, okay, and unfortunately, I, I cannot, uh, I cannot plot the support vector machine because it needs nine axes, and this is not possible yet. Okay, but we can. Continue the same. We can call it model and response about vector machine one. Yeah, we have here number of support vectors and the configuration for this value. Let's calculate the what means error. 
okay it, it will be the same okay model underscore and support factor machine one underscore rain underscore what means square error what means square error okay and project data train actual data again is and list uh, support model underscore support for two machine one at net okay model at result that's i i believe it's uh, it's the front then okay so i cannot use the same uh what i need to do i need to make a prediction for for the values so let's make the prediction first so we can call the model support vector machine one underscore results okay we can predict okay the data the model first model underscore support to machine one and the data project data train okay Review the result. Model underscore support to machine one underscore result. Okay, here we go. So I down here and let's calculate the root mean square. Model on the small support vector machine one. Sorry. Okay. Square. Square error. And project. It contains the actual value. And what we get just model small support vector machine one on the score result. Okay, so let's calculate the support vector machine on underscore three and underscore minus square. Yeah, I think it's getting better. So we can calculate that, or we can con cal conclude that support vector machine is giving more accuracy than uh, artificial neural network. I'm going to continue this uh, same. Uh, so for KNN and all the K nearest neighbor and random first. 